laminectomy describes a procedure uh, that we use to uh, create more space for the spinal cord or the uh, nerve roots, depending where you are in the, in the spine itself. Um, the spinal cord and in the lumbar spine, the nerve roots travel in a tube, and uh, as people age and degenerative conditions start to take over, they can become stenotic or that tube can tighten up. So a laminectomy aims to open up that tube in the areas in which it's become stenotic. The conditions treated with the laminectomy are uh, those conditions associated with narrowing either of the spinal cord, which would cause myelopathy or the problems with balance and coordination, or it, if it's down lower in the spine, it can affect nerve roots, which can cause radicular type symptoms into the legs. The advantages of having a laminectomy, if performed alone, uh, is that it's a relatively well-tolerated procedure. And patients spend one or two days in the hospital, recoveries uh, four to six weeks before we let them and release them to, to uh, uh, activity as tolerated. Um, so, however, sometimes laminectomy must be combined with a fusion if, if on their x-rays their spine shows evidence of instability. In those cases, laminectomy with a fusion, though, requires a much prolonged um, post-operative course. Recovery following a laminectomy alone is fairly rapid, one to two days in the hospital, and then I allow, allow physical, physical therapy starting four to six weeks with activity as tolerated at that point. A laminectomy, in many instances, is an elective procedure unless you have motor weakness present or, or balance and gait coordination issues present, but uh, it's a very well tolerated procedure and it can result in rapid improvement in quality of life.